Haney Prospect. Happy Thursday. It's the 27th of January, and today we're going to be praying over our readings in Genesis, Esther, Acts, and Matthew. Um, yeah, so if you guys will just join me in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this word, for your word, and for pray through the Bible, and this time that we get to spend reflecting on what we've read and what we can glean from it and how we can pray it. God, in Genesis, we see your faithfulness to Jacob, and you make that so clear to him. Lord, you say that you'll go with him and you'll be with him, and surely you'll fulfill your promises to him. And Lord, I pray that like Jacob, we respond with commitment to you. Lord, you're faithful to us, and you fulfill your promises. And I just pray that that would always cause a response in us to respond in faithfulness to you and that we'll respond by giving you glory and thanking you and committing our life to you and, you know, thanking you for all you do for us by obeying you. And Lord, I pray that that would be out of a love for you and not out of a to-do list feeling or a guilt-ridden, we need to obey God, but it would be out of a love that we have for you just overpouring and out of thankfulness and gratefulness for all you've done for us and Lord in Acts thank you for providing for Paul you gave him this provision and the people with him and Lord he was so attentive and listening to you to listen to your instructions and what you would have him to do and he trusted that you were going to rescue him Lord help us to trust you in that same way and to listen like Paul was listening for your instructions and for what you would say and to not only listen, but to trust and believe everything you do say. You're working for our good God, and I, sometimes we don't believe that. And I just pray that you would help us to. In Matthew, Lord, we see you go to the cross, and sometimes we forget the weight of our sin all too often. Lord, help us not to mock you. Help us to be thankful for what you've done for us and what only you could do for us in our place, and you did. God, thank you for sending your son and for making that sacrifice so we could have a relationship with you. And Lord, in Esther, we see Mordecai's faith. We see Esther's bravery. Thank you for Mordecai who trusted that the Jews would be saved even if Esther didn't act in obedience. And thank you for Esther who was brave enough to say, if I perish, I perish. Lord, I just pray that you would help us to have the same mindset that we would be willing to do what was right, even if it's hard and even if it takes bravery and courage and even if it is going to be costly for us. Lord, thank you for making the sacrifice you did for us in Jesus. And thank you for our salvation. Thank you for loving us, God, and being so faithful to us. I pray that today and every day we'll respond in faithfulness to you and that will thank you for all you've done for us by praising you and being obedient to what you call us to. Lord, we love you, but thank you for loving us first. And in your name we pray, amen. Thank you, New Prospect. I hope you guys had a great rest of your Thursday, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.